Hey everyone, I'm Paige DeSorbo and welcome to Makeup for Everything You Missed. I am going to be curating a girls weekend, fun girls night, day to night look, so keep watching. So my first step is my Fit Me foundation, but I applied this off camera because it's an intimate thing for myself. And my next step is my eyeshadow. This is the Nudes of New York. I'm gonna show you the first, first you have to know how to open it, that's a very crucial step. And the first color I'm going to use is called Artist. And this is going to be all over your lid. And it doesn't matter if it falls all over your face because you're gonna wipe it off anyway. And make sure you do that from the inner corner all the way to the end. I mean, she's already stunning, so. And then the next color I'm going to use is called Explore. And that's right here. And you're gonna put this all over both of your lids again. And this is everything, you, this is makeup for everything that you missed. And specifically, a girl's weekend. I go away every single weekend in the summer and my makeup needs to last one all day. And then I need to build, be able to build upon it at nighttime because if you think I'm one of those girls that's gonna wash off all of her makeup, you're wrong because I'm lazy. My next shade, is going to be, mm, it's called Self Starter. And then the sh third shade, you're going to do just in the corners of your eye, the outer corners. And I do it in a circular motion because that's what I learned from YouTube when I was 17. Do that on both sides. And this is the part that you're building on. So like during the day, maybe you only wore those two shades and then at nighttime, you really want the corners to pop. And if it's all falling down your face, totally fine. That means we're doing it right. Probably not what a makeup artist would say, but here we are. And then my third step for my eyes, which is my favorite step, is the inner corner shimmer. So I'm going to go with hmm, founder, and this is going to be right in the corners. And who doesn't love a little sparkle? Right there. Sometimes I go overboard with it, but it's fine because this is a girl's weekend and Maybe you're gonna go to a bar later, and maybe you wanna have a pop of your eye, so the more sparkles, the better. The next step that I'm going to do is my eyebrows. This is the Brow Fast Sculpt, and this I just push my eyebrows up. I have no method to this other than up and over. It changes the whole look. Honestly, sometimes I even put this in my hair if I have flyaways, and that's a tip. The next thing I'm going to do is my concealer. This is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser. Okay, so this is where I clean up everything that I messed up on my eyes on the side, so I put it right here. Just like a little dab right here, and then in the corners, and then honestly, I just use my finger. And then you've basically given yourself a cat eye without even trying. Dab, dab, dab. And this concealer is always in my bag at all times because it's so cute and tiny and it fits right in there. And then any other blemishes that you have. I use my finger for a lot of makeup applications because, well, it's just easier. Okay, 
My next step, and probably my favorite step because I love a bronzer, I use City Bronzer, and this is color 200. Look, I definitely do a lot more than you're supposed to, but I don't care. That's who I am as a person, and I love bronzer. I learned in a YouTube video that it's three spots. This is the first one, this is the second one, and then this is the third. And then sometimes, if I'm really feeling myself, I try and contour my nose, but I'm not the best at it. But we love bronzer, so we don't care. And then again, I'll go in with my finger and smooth it out. And then just do like another layer, just for good measure. Also making this face makes me feel like I'm better at doing makeup. Okay, my next step, and this is a really good one, this is blush, and I love liquid blush. This is Cheek Heat. Liquid blush is my favorite, and I'll tell you why, because I think it looks like you just woke up from a nap, and that's my favorite look. So I just dab it right in the center. I've even been known to put this on my lips sometimes. If I wanna put it on my eyelids, I'll just go rogue and do that. But how well rested does she look? And look, I'll do even more because I love a rosy cheek. It looks like you were on the beach laying out and you just got that sun-kissed, rosy feel to your face. No, we love it. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is my highlighter. Highlighter is, in my opinion, the most important step. This one is Master Chrome. I think I discovered it, and when I discovered it, I put it all over my face, but now I've gotten better and just do it on my cheekbones, down my nose. Okay, so maybe I do still put it all over my face, above my lips. And then like, you know, wherever I'm feeling it. Sometimes I do it by my eyebrows and then I do one more swoop by my eyes. And I really feel like it changes your whole look. And it's good for when you're taking pictures. Like, is she sweating? Does she have highlighter on? We don't really know. But either way, you look amazing. My next step is my mascara. Okay. I am obsessed with the Sky High Maybelline Mascara. This is my favorite part because eyelashes, they're really the best thing on your face, I think. Sometimes I just go out with just mascara and my bronzer I'll use as eyeshadow. If I am away for the weekend and I can't pack every single makeup, I'll just use my bronzer as eyeshadow and then I bring a really, really good mascara like this one and it's perfect. I like to do multiple coats on the bottom of my eyelashes because I like when the bottom looks really, really wispy. So put as many as you want. My final step is I'm going to do my lips and the first shade that I'm going to use, this is the Super Stay ink crayon. So you can use this as all over lip pencil or you can use it as a liner. I like to use it as a liner. And I feel very like JLo 2004 when I use it as a liner, which just would make anyone's day better. And then I put it right in the middle. And it smells really good, honestly. It smells like chocolate. And then I do my gloss on top. This is the Lifter Gloss, and how cute is that packaging? And this is just like a clear, pretty pink that I like to put on top, and the liner really gives it the color. And honestly, if you don't get hit on after this makeup tutorial, then it's him, not you, because this is the easiest makeup look 
I would wear this all day. I would build on it, wear more at night, and I wouldn't wash my face, and then I'd wear it to brunch in the morning. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite part was in the comments below, and subscribe to the Maybelline YouTube channel, and have fun on your girls' weekend.